Philip Walker and Jihad Thomas are names that Temple fans know. But what many people don't know is how far these two go back, all the way back to Elizabeth, New Jersey. So for those of us who have never been to Elizabeth, tell me a little bit about what it's like. Uh, it's, a, it's a big city, you know, big high school, one of the biggest schools in the state of New Jersey. Uh, a lot of great, great talent there that really don't even get an opportunity to come play for Division I football or college football. So Elizabeth's a tough town. Those guys have made all the right choices and overcome some of their tough background. It's not the best neighborhoods, you know, in our city. And it's a football culture that, that you take really seriously. I mean, we, when, you, when you look back at it, we used to leave our Pop Warner practices to go watch some Friday night games. And they always was packed. We used to sit like a little section of the bleachers. You know, you're just thinking, like, man, I, I can't wait one day I run out of that locker room, run out of that, that little section that they run out of, and just be like, man, my time is going to be here at some point. We grew up watching these older guys play, like, you know, Raymond Graham and, and Kasim Green and those guys but, that we really looked up to, and we wanted to continue that legacy. You know, we heard about how many championships they won, you know, back then in the 80s, the 90s, and, and the early 2000s. And we knew, you know, when it was our year, we wanted to do the same, you know, just to be a part of that history. Awesome, great matchup. Um, redundant again, but this really is. You got number two ranked Elizabeth undefeated, kind of having a dream season so far, eyeing that Star Ledger trophy. Philip Walker, Jihad Thomas, so many athletes, so much Division I talent yeah. on both sides of the ball. Uh, going up against Piscataway, which is one of the best programs mm -hmm. in the state. We actually lost a year before that to the same team that we beat in the championship. Well, obviously last year in North Tier Group 4, we had the final classic 41-37 Piscataway mm -hmm. victory. That's really eaten away at Elizabeth in the past year. They really wanting to get back here, and I think they're thrilled that they're getting the scat away. So just that revenge, you know, that, that bad taste we had in our mouth, and just to, you know, hold that trophy up, just to know, like, over that, that four or three year span that we was working towards that. The, the last drive in this state championship game, I mean, PJ completed a couple passes to get us to midfield, and then we ran a screen pass that we've run over and over again. And I knew from the rip it was about to be a touch. They stopped us the drive before, though and they stopped him on the same play. And the next drive, we went right back to it, and I'm like, man, he ain't getting tackled this time. Y'all might as well just let it go. And I thought he was gonna run out of bounds. I'm going out of bounds, and all of a sudden, he makes this darting cut across the field and goes 50 yards. And next thing you know, he in the end zone, he on two knees. Like, it's, it's an unbelievable moment. It's one of the greatest times, I can say, that I've ever like been a part of. That's like one of the best like moments of our life. There's nothing like that feeling, like winning the state championship. You know, if that's my favorite memory, yeah, it's pretty good. Three, we did it! We'll One, make right. two, three! We, we did it! Yeah. What if they don't? Here comes Reggie Bush. They drop it off, got a little screen action set up for Bush. Oh, look out! I was, when I was young, I didn't watch too much college football until like I seen Reggie Bush like really play for the first time. That's when I really got into it. I mean, I knew about a few other players, but that's when I really got into it. And then just playing, like honestly, our coach Quinn, he came there and changed like that whole program. In the beginning of our high school careers, I don't think we took school as serious as we should have. And it was, a, it was a struggle for us to even get here because of the way we started off our high school careers. And my, my focus with the kids, and I, I say this all the time, is probably about one-third on the sport of football, a significant portion on academic and character development, probably a third of each. No one really, no one really enforced it, like, yeah, y'all got to do this, y'all going to be capable of playing college football and things like that. But once Coach Quinn got here, like you said, he just changed our whole mindset, started bringing in schools left and right. Because your academic progress is essential if you want to be in position to accept a Division I scholarship offer. It's been my, my con constant refrain with all of our kids, but particularly the kids like PJ and Jihad that have that um, clearly early identifiable Division I ability. I didn't know too much about college. You know, how far my talent can go to the next level. And when he came in, you know, he told us like, you know, you guys really have a chance to play at, at, at a next level, you know, at a Division I level. That changed everything, you know, from my sophomore year. I think that's when we really took heave into, like, you know, we really can do this and, you know, go play at, at the next level. Philip Walker is battle-tested. This guy is a four-year starter. He's played in a lot of big games. Jahad Thomas really has become the offense. They, they work around his ability to run football. What drew you guys to Temple originally? 
It's close to home. Opportunities. We was given the opportunity to come in as, and compete as freshmen. You don't really get the opportunity everywhere else. And, you know, Coach Rue was open for, you know, for freshmen to come in there and play. It was PJ that came down at first. So PJ came up to campus and uh, I got a chance to talk to him about me playing quarterback in high school, playing a little basketball. We are uh, kind of related right away. Him being from Elizabeth from New Jersey, we would play those guys in high school. So we knew a lot of similar people. I started getting recruited. I think it was the first and second round of playoffs. I think the next day they came down and, you know, talked to me and then that's when the whole recruiting process started for me. I kept talking to him when Coach Rowe got here. It was just like, yo, Coach, like the other kid could play too. So Coach Rowe was just like, you know, I like his tape. Why don't you show Coach Rowe the tape? And there was no doubt that Coach Rowe wanted us to take him. And just to know, you know, you got somebody you've known for, you know, 10 plus years. You know what he brings, you know his competitiveness, you know how he is as a person. To have another four years with somebody like that, like it's, it's very rare that you play with for so long. And that's what really drove me and Jahaj just to be like, man, we got an opportunity to go somewhere and do something different. An opportunity that most people don't usually get. P.J. Walker and Jahad Thomas, childhood buddies in Elizabeth, New Jersey, in the backfield. Now that you've been here three years together, what has this experience been like? Oh, it's been fun. We, we've enjoyed it. Whether we was two and ten, six and six, you really can't take nothing from it. From it, it's like we hang out. It's like everything we do. You know, we always around one another. Just to tell other people or people like, oh yeah, did y'all go to school together? Things like that. There's other guys on the team that know. And you know, we was blessed with it. And we, you know, we, we enjoy it. You know, this is something that we dreamed about, and we just take a day at a time. You know, get that degree, and then you know, go out. We got to end the season with a bang. They flip it to Thomas. Makes a cut and scores. Gives it Thomas. Got a hold. Outside Thomas. 10. 5. Touchdown. Jahan Thomas. Thomas navigates. Thomas. First down and more. Still going. Jahan Thomas finds the end zone. Touchdown Temple. Walker will roll out. Walker is looking to run. Cuts it upfield. He's got the first down. Walker will have the touchdown. Walker rolling, pumping, he's going to run, he dives, he's in, touchdown, Philip Walker. And everybody in Elizabeth, New Jersey's cheering.